Hello again, this is Priscilla Battell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Getting kind of late in the day. And I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas in front of me because I have leftover paint from my earlier exploits with little garden themes. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to give it my best shot. And I'm going to start with my OXO omelet turning spatula, hoping that all of the water is off of it from being in the bucket, which I recommend having a bucket keeping your spatulas, if you use them as much as I do, clean because otherwise they're really not that much fun to try and clean. I've been using quite a heavy layer of paint today and I don't think I'm done needing that heavy layer of paint. I kind of wonder if maybe I used the wrong white paint and then I'm just using mostly house paint instead of paint with uh, the pouring mediums in it I need because it doesn't seem to be very thick. But uh, so far it's worked okay because I've used a really massive layer of it and I'm going to not quit anytime soon, I guess. Especially since the sun is not directly overhead or evaporating my paint like it had been earlier. So I see stuff. It's one of the reasons I like my spatula is because as I smooth out my paint, I can see if there's anything that I don't want in there that's anomalous. I like that word, anomalous means extra stuff. All right, so regardless of whether my white paint is right or wrong, it does not matter. What, I, what I'm concerned with right at this moment is the fact that I have colors in my shovel. And not only do I have colors in my shovel, but I want other colors. Really? 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 Goodbye. So, I haven't had my fair share of gold today either. And yeah, this is a fairly irreverent way of doing this, but I don't think I care. I've got some greens for the bottom. I want some more colors up top. Might put some yellow in there. It's the end of the day. It's not that important that I do this in any specific well, it's important the paint comes out of the bottle, but I've been having this trouble all day, and I guess it's going to be the way it goes for the year, because, whoops, well, that was not part of my plan. In any case, moving on, I'm going to throw a little bit of Prussian blue down at the bottom, and a little bit of purple, and some of my, where are you, my forest green, and then... I'm going to take my semi-clean shovel. Now, I'm going to take the paint in that dish. And very irreverently excavate it right onto my canvas. Because I can, which is the name of my book. Because I can. My book is on the Amazon link in both Kindle and on paperback below the video. You can search me anywhere. Priscilla Batzel. I have more colors and I want to use them and I'm tempted to use other colors too. I'm just going to not waste any paint and see what happens. And clean my iPod case out. And because I like these other colors, have them handy, I'm going to use them. I know this is all looking pretty irreverent, but I, I've kind of been in this zone, this flower zone, and uh, it's been working for me so far. What do I want in there that I don't have? Probably a little bit of purple. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, again, is let all of that go to the bottom. Maybe. I don't really think I have enough green. So I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go over this time because I can. I'm out of your view. Oh well. Sorry. I want some more green down there. And I'm going to choose to use my Color Shift Folk Art Minty Green and some more of this green. And I want some yellow in there. Why do I want some yellow? I don't know. I'm not getting it want it. Probably a different... Really? Oh, really? Okay, fine. Be that way. 
So, this is my opportunity, I guess, to see what I can do with Shane. Because I can. Because I wasn't sure I could do anything for a minute. So this is what I did instead. And that's kind of cool. I want to take more chain, and I have some handy, and put it up here, most of which in my hand. Come on. I'd like to tip my canvas, but I really can't at this point without destroying the cool chain marks from down below. I pull my studio rag out. It doesn't matter that I have some colors on there. It does matter that the chain is not cooperating. twiddling right up on me. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I don't know what I'm going to get. Put that chain down for a second. Keep something handy to wipe off my skewer. I want some more green. <laughs> That's what I want. I want some more green right here. And I just want to keep playing. See what happens. Got all kinds of options. I got all kinds of green to steal. I might want some stuff that's not that muddy color over there, but it's pretty purple. Whoa, that was a lot of red. Okay, well that's okay. I don't mind that. Kind of want some yellow. Oh, you know what? I have some. I'm not sure what's going to come of it. I gotta say that nice thick layer of white paint does help. It might be a little kitschy. But that's okay. I'll live. Just letting the skewer pull right down through. Change the patterns just enough to make some cool marks. I like that blue over there, but there's a lot of it, so I'm wondering if there's something I might want to do to change that. Like in IE, add a little color right in the middle of it. Of 
pull it down and pull it over. Got a big blue plant. It wouldn't be that hard to pour some of that off because it's so thick right there. Just going to use the paint, the residual paint, right on my skewer. Not sure what else I want to do. That white paint in the background definitely helps. I think some purple is in order. Do I have any? I think lots of purple is in order. Paint will heal paint. Got some really beautiful things going on inside some of those flowers. Why not? I want to put a little more pink in there. I'm not sure what's going to come of it if I do that. But I'm thinking maybe a little white will help too. Just a little more purple. Yes, better. So that is what it is, and I think I want some more white. Maybe not. Maybe I want some of this. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I want. Perfect. And I'm going to take some of that to right there, right in the middle. Add a few more twirlies. Steal a little more paint. I got three minutes left. I'm surprised. Paint's not floating too far away, which is good. Paint, flow paint is, does tend to uh, shift. Just going to make those anomalous red, excuse me, orange, yellow colors look like they might be flowers. Grab a little more green. Actually, you know what? I can just make those green if I want to. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm all good with that. It's, uh, it's a little different. I'm not sure what that mark is there. Just going to do a look-see if there's anything else I should be doing. I 
stealing some more paint. From below to put above, I don't think I like that color up there. I wonder if I will like this one any better. And I don't. Good thing I got shorts on that have paint all over them. There, I'm a little happier with that. None of that is bothering me anymore. Much, anyway. I think I would like some green right over here. And I have nice thick paint. So I think I'm going to just use it to the best of my ability. Some of that would be good over my edges. Oh yeah, I have an entire uncovered edge. That's okay. I got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, which is I'm going to take all that paint out of that shovel <laughs> and fix my bottom. Because I can, the name of my book. Please feel free to visit the bottom of the description underneath the video for my Pinterest, my Instagram, Facebook Volumes 1, 2, and 3 of YouTube Wet, Wet Dry Artworks. Know that the book houses the first 100 videos and all the tools and processes for that period of time when I was recording. And that I have Teespring below the video and Amazon under there, under, under Teespring, where you can find my book and my OXO omelette turning spatulas and my mica powder and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. And that is pretty well done other than the fact that I could say thank you all for contributing to keep me going and those of you who contribute this month will be included in a contest where if you win you'll get to choose from one of seven different artworks. I love you guys very much. I appreciate the 53,000 of you I appreciate your wonderful comments. You make my day all the time. If you have any questions, please just ask. I'm happy to answer. There will be more volumes of books. My camera does shut off at 20 minutes. If you ever wonder why I have a timer, that would be the answer to that question. I could fuss with this for a while. I'd like some more green stuff, but you know what? It's an abstract painting. It's got great little patterns. And the torch is going to release some of them because there's GAC 800 to keep the paint from getting thick. Added to my paint colors and then Decor Pouring Medium and Flow Troll. And the recipe is below the video in the description area. And you will find it if you look for it. And I did not expect to use chain, but I don't mind how it looks. It's very cool. And I will see you guys in another video if I'm lucky. Please come again. Love, love entertaining you. Do you want to see? I don't like the way you say that. I'm not insisting that you come. Just another garden because those are the colors I had left. It is ready in a half hour. Oh wow. It's a rose garden. I well, guess. Kind of. But it's got some cool patterns in yes, there. Yes, it does.